visit you. My, my parents said that you weren't going to be released until tomorrow. Oh, yeah, well, I couldn't stay in that hospital room for one more second. Oh, I don't blame you. Do you, need a, do you need a ride someplace, or...? Graham left me her car. I just have to figure out where to go. Okay, well, at least this way you won't have to worry about running into Rick, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's gone. For all I know, I'm already a widow. Who he was before. I knew who he was after he, after he lied to Carly, after he kidnapped Courtney. But he promised me. He promised me. He he was he was finishing doing this whole revenge thing against Sonny. He promised he would never lie to me. Again. Elizabeth, the guy's a pathological liar. He doesn't know how not to lie. But I believed him. So what does that say about me? You did what you were supposed to do. Okay. You followed your heart. Don't blame yourself because Rick betrayed your trust. He's the one who's wrong here, not you. Somewhere along the line, my feelings for Nicholas have changed. It's more than just gratitude. I mean, I still love Xander, but I can't get Nicholas out of my mind. Hi. Looks like you're feeling better. Yeah, I guess. I'm on my way home. Well, if you ever need anything, you know, just and call me. Besides therapy, I'm fine, thanks. I thought I would come by and take you home, surprise you. I guess your meeting ended a little bit early. Yeah. <laughs> how's how's everything going? Oh, it's, it's good, good. Uh, the group's wonderful. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad it's healthy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, listen, I got this this meeting to go to, so. Okay, yeah, we don't, we don't want to hold you up. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, well, I need to eat something. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, you want to come with us? Oh, no thanks, because I'm not in the mood. Okay. <clears throat> Elizabeth, what's... I thought you were going to the first floor. I, yeah, I need to ask Nicholas something first, so you guys go ahead. Okay. I'll call you later. All right. Bye. Ask me what? You're in love with Emily, aren't you? Yeah, you know, I've, I've always loved Emily. I was her first crush. Remember? We, you remember. I'm her friend. We've, we've been through a lot, and she's in for the fight of her life. <laughs> I'm not talking about friendship or concern or anything else you want to call it. You look at Emily like she's your entire world. What? What is this? Where is this coming from, Liz? I, I mean, Emily's with Xander. I would, I would never do anything to mess that up. Who are you trying to convince? Me or you? Don't turn the lights on. Mm. Oh, I love the air at night this time of year. And I love the sound of the crickets and the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> crickets and frogs always remind me of camping out. They're good memories? Oh, really good ones. Any camping trip in particular? Mm, the spur-of-the-moment road trip I took with this guy I met at a party. Oh, yeah? Who was this guy? Oh, he was handsome and dangerous. <laughs> oh, well, he took me hostage. Not that he ever meant to hurt me. He just needed to get away, so we did. Heading for a bridge in the Canadian border? Yes, sleeping in barns and deserted cabins. Taking a stolen car and it kept breaking down. Yeah, it worked really well the rest of the time. Especially when you were driving. Yeah, I think I did all right. You're incredible. Mm. Why don't you touch me? Why don't you kiss me? 
Is it because I'm sick? No, no. Look, I need you to be honest. Is it because I've got this disease inside of me? Does that make you want me less? Emily, I wake up every morning thinking about you. While I wake every night missing you wish we could be together. I stare your butterflies every time you walk into a room. <laughs> Everybody else fades away. All I see is you. But with everything that's been going on, I just... I thought you needed some space. No. I don't want space. I want you. That's all you needed to say. It's dangerous to ride at night. I'll consider myself duly warned. Hoping to work off some of the misery and frustration? That can only mean you bumped into Emily. Could you explain your fascination with that drooping flower? Why should I explain anything to you? I don't know. Because we're engaged? Because we're supposed to be figuring out how to spend the rest of our lives together? This brooding prince routine is going to make for a very long dry marriage. You want me to be faithful, but you refuse to touch me yourself. What kind of life is that? Oh, I know. A miserable one. The kind you are used to. You're actually right for once. I'm used to living in a, in a black hole surrounded by lies and hidden agendas, so marrying you won't be an adjustment at all. Just be more of the same. Oh, all that Pent up anger. It'd be a shame to waste it. If I caught the world in a bottle and everything was still beneath the moon, we thought your love would have shined for me. Is there a and understood the rings around the moon? What would it all matter if you love me? Here in your arms with the world is impossibly still With a million dreams to fulfill And a matter of moments until the dance be patient with me. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Except when this moment comes near the dancing's end. If I caught the world in an hourglass, saddled up the moon so we could ride until the stars grew dim. Stranger and all the noises silenced in the room. You feel that you close to some mystery in the moonlight, and everything shatters. You feel as if you've known her all your life. The world's oldest lesson in history. Here in your arms, with the world. Is impossibly still with a million dreams to fulfill and a matter of moments until the dancing ends here in your arms and everything seems to be clear not a solitary thing do I fear except when this moment comes near the dancing An hourglass saddled up the moon, and we would ride until the stars grew dim, until the time that time stands still, until. 
we if we sleep together, there'll be some storybook ending to all this. You know, I'll be there to comfort you. You'll be there to comfort me. Happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. Like we were meant for each other, loved each other all along. You never know if you don't try.